Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Couple of days ago, I covered this Google Spellygemma 2 model, which is a lightweight open vision language model inspired by Pally 3. This model is based on open components like the Siglip vision model and the Gemma language model. Pally Gemma takes both images and text as inputs and can answer questions about images with detail and context, meaning that Pally Gemma 2 can perform deeper analysis of images and provide useful insights such as captioning for images and short videos, object detection, and reading text embedded within images. I already have shown you in the video which you can see on the screen as how to get it installed locally and how to test it out for various use cases. So if you're interested, just check it out. And not only this recent version, version of Pally Gemma, I also have been covering this Pally Gemma model from the onset as you can see on your screen. In this video though, I'm going to show you how you can fine tune this new Pally Gemma to on your own data set. When we say fine tune, fine tuning an AI model means to the process of adjusting pre-trained model or a base model to fit a specific task or data set. This involves making small adjustments to the model's weights and biases to adapt it to the new data rather than training a new model from scratch. I have done heaps of videos on the conceptual and architectural um, sides of fine tuning so please search the channel. Now let's uh, get started and see how we can fine tune this Pally Gemma 2 on a custom data set. Let me also thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. And I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel AI is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And I will also drop their link in video's description too. So let me take you to my terminal and we'll get started. And I am running this Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is A100 with 80 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. For the fine tuning of Pally Gemma, you would at least need 80 GB. So please make sure that you have that. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And you don't have to buy of course, just like you can rent it from Mast Compute as I told you with a, for a fraction of cost. Okay, so my Conda environment is created. Let's install all the prerequisites, which are simply again, Tosh, Transformers, and I'm also downloading the data sets because we will be downlo downloading a custom data set from Hugging Face. If you want, you can use your own data set. All you have to do is to just replace the path. Anyway, let's wait for this to get installed. Should not take too long. And meanwhile, one thing you can do, you can go to huggingface.co and grab your token for free from your profile you just have to log in there and that is needed in order to log into hugging face through CLI so that we could download the data set everything is installed let me quickly log into hugging face through CLI and I'm just going to paste my token here and you can just use the read token here press capital Y and we are logged in next up let me launch my Jupyter notebook let's wait for it to get it opened in the browser first up let's download our data set from hugging face and i'm just going to go with this visual question answer v2 small data set so let's wait for it to get downloaded the data set has been downloaded let's split it and by splitting i mean that i'm just going to use this uh, 0.9% of size instead of the whole data set because uh, I just want to make it quick, hopefully. And now let's um, get our Pally Gemma 2 model. And I'm just going to go with the 3 billion size. You can, of course, replace it with any other Pally Gemma 2 variant. And then let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded. There are two shards of it. 
and the model is downloaded another very small step is to make sure that we take tokens to the same data type as model so that we need to store it as a variable and that is done and then we need to load the processor to pre-process the data set and i believe i already have imported sorry not this one i already have got the pali chama one because we installed it up above in the first step and now what we need to do uh, is to pre-process our examples we need to prepare a prompt template just like this and pass the text input inside pass it with batches of images to processor then we will set the pad tokens as you can see here and image tokens to uh, minus 100 to let the model ignore them and then we will pass our pre-processed input as labels to make the model learn how to generate responses it's a fairly simple code and now let's initialize the training arguments and these are the training arguments which we are using to do the fine tuning for example you can see that we are training it for two epochs for the purpose of this demo i'll just going to make it one and then we are just asking it to remove columns from the data set that are not used by the model um, if you want to uh, use it just set it to true and then we are specifying the batch size per device for training this is the number of samples that will be processed together as a single batch and then uh, these gradient accumulation steps are the number of steps to accumulate gradients before performing a weight update this is useful for larger batch sizes that don't really fit in the memory and then warm up steps are just two these are the number of steps to warm up the learning rate during this period the learning rate will increase from a small value to this specified value and then weight decay is this weight decay which is l2 regularization this helps prevent overfitting by adding a penalty term to the loss function overfitting is that model doesn't cram anything and then there are few other optimizer settings we are doing uh, for example this one is adam w optimizer which we are using and then uh, we are using this adam beta 2 which is uh, which controls the decay rate of the second moment estimate and then there are few other steps for logging and then we are uh, also telling it to save the training after this many steps the checkpoint i mean so let me run this and then you can define the trainer uh, by importing the trainer from transformer and then giving it the model the pelijama 2 the data set which we downloaded and then these are the arguments which we have specified above and everything is set now we can start the training by simply running trainer dot train and this is going to take fair bit of time as you can see there it is doing showing you the eta this is going to fluctuate and it depends upon your vram your data set and lot of other um, things in terms of your model so i will let it train i'm not going to wait and uh, you know show you the whole uh, training if you're interested you can run the same steps but make sure that you have 80 gb of vram otherwise you will get out of memory errors i hope this was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching